Good morning, everyone. Welcome to what is technically day three of coasting through Europe, although for you guys it is day two. Uh, yesterday we actually took a uh, detour. We went over to Malmo, Sweden from Copenhagen. We took a train over, did some sightseeing. Now we're currently at our Airbnb, which is in our house. Today we're going to Jura Summerland, which is approximately 30 minutes away, so should be a good time. Let's head on over. Yeah, this park is in the middle of nowhere. Um, we're driving through literally fields to get here. So this is gonna be an interesting day. <laughs> but I've heard great things about this park. Jour Summerland. Jour Summerland. At least I hope we're pronouncing that right. Honestly. I, don't know. I said soup de jour Summerland when we were on uh, doing our trip. <laughs> I cannot pronounce anything I in Danish. I think the locals pronounce it similarly though. But the I thing about Danish is like and all of the Nordic languages is it's the sounds that they make are so different than that of English. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> They're like, it's not ooh, it's ooh. And I'm like, what is this? What? <laughs> it sounds the same to me. I look at it's anything so in Danish and I'm like, I have not even the slightest idea of what that uh, yeah, is. Yeah, it's, it's very, very difficult. Like, even uh, we met like an American that has been living here for several years and she's like, oh, I don't know, lick of Danish. I can't learn it. It's so hard. <laughs> so the walk into the park is basically like a walk in the forest. This is so pretty, isn't it? it this is cool. I don't think I've ever seen a park with an entrance quite like this. Like where where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this entry plaza and Paraton. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. You're excited. Your first intimate megalite. Oh yeah, yes it is. Weird. Alright made it in the park. First ride of the day is gonna be this uh intimate family invert which is very unique to this park, a very rare model. Yannick, you were saying it pulls 4Gs? It pulls as an RCDV, yeah. Oh my Literally gosh. Possible. I don't believe it. But first impressions, I mean, this park is very cool. I mean, I like this little shaded area. We're in the Wild Asia section of the park. Guys, I lied. We're not doing the Intamin. We're doing whatever this kitty coaster is themed to. Dinosaurs? Is that the dinosaur one? I think, I don't know, it's called Jungle Rally. Jungle Rally was actually more themed than I was expecting. Next up is Dragon Con. Dragon Con. I'm just gonna apologize to everyone from Denmark yeah. on Please our pronunciation. Don't be offended. We're not trying to make fun of your language. We just genuinely haven't a clue on how to speak. So we have a separate line for the front row, and it's really long. So we're gonna go to the back. Check out this ride when it dispatches. This is crazy. You ready, Yannick? I'm ready. Hi. Why is that literally a launch? <laughs> All right, so we just rode the Intamin family invert and I gotta say, um, it was, first of all, a pretty shaky ride, um, which was uh, unfortunate. I didn't but, think it took away from it that much, though. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, but I will say, uh, thematically, it was very cool uh, was the like way it. section. Yeah, it's before all, like, the lift. Strobies. Literally launched. Um, and then it got really close to the ground there uh, through some like fast paced turns. It was like a larger version of Dragonfly or at Dollywood, you know, those Vekoma family suspended coasters. Say, that, is, that is more than a family coaster in my opinion. That would scare a lot of yeah. Americans. It's a 2017 ride, so it is fairly new. How'd you like it, Yannick? It was really fun. I'm not sure if it pulls 4G, but I mean, it's a family coaster and uh, it was really nice. It was, it was a lot of fun, actually. Okay. All right, guys, don't freak out, but Bucky the freaking beaver is right behind me. Oh my gosh! Hi, Bucky! <laughs> ah! I love your gas station. It's amazing. <laughs> that is a big frisbee. And look, there's this wide open, like, green area. Hey, they can totally fit a ride here. Yeah, absolutely. What should they put here? Uh, All the relocated rides from California's Great America. Dang. <laughs> a rap would be nice. Yeah, Railblazer. All right, right here. They have a buffet here. Also, this playground looks, like, really nice. 
Look at this, it's like all Wild West themed. I feel right at home here, and I would like to reiterate to all Europeans, this is really what all of America looks like. This is spot on. Oh my gosh, I know exactly where we're going after we ride all the roller coasters. See, this kind of stuff in America, you have to literally sign a waiver before you can do it. That's why we can't have nice things in America. I know. <laughs> That's why we have to fly across the country. No, across the world to go <laughs> do this. Holy crap, Jubilant's entrance is so cool. It's literally like ruins. This is literally the Epcot Pavilion right here. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. And then they have this really weird looking ride over there. Like, wow. Juvelin or Juvelin, I'm not sure which one it is, is awesome. That is so good. Yeah, everything after the second launch is like... Yeah, the first time was like fine, and then you hit the second launch and it's like, bam, I threw five, like rapid twist, and you're like, yeah. there's so much speed. That was surprising. That was super fun. The second half was intense. Yeah. I like it. We did the front row. And you can oh, yeah, like feel, really feel the wind in your face. I love the theming. It's like this jungle, like hidden temple, like abandoned ruins. Yeah, I get Legends of the Hidden Temple vibes. Yeah. On Nickelodeon. Oh, totally. For Love and Thunder, it's time for Mjolnir. No, I was gonna say it's time for <laughs> it's Star time. Lord and Thor to get together. Okay, well, for the record, this video is probably coming out after Thor Love and Thunder well, is out. So. I swear that's gonna happen, and we'll see if I'm right. Look at that famer. I mean, it's not Stormbreaker, but it, it, it's pretty cool, you know? There is a goat on the ceiling, and there's a hole in the roof for where his udders are dripping into this barrel. That's not how I remember goats on the roof. <laughs> no, this is very different than the goats on the roof I remember. What do you think of this, ma'am? supposed to be Thor chilling up there on the ceiling. Thor's hammer starts off as a classic uh, wild mouse and then the second half goes into some uh, helixes, especially some that are pretty low to the ground. And, uh, the ground low to water. Low, yeah, actually the ending goes completely out over the water. Uh, and what you're seeing right here is an indoor section where it actually goes up here, goes into uh, this dip and into an airtime hill. And then that's where it has uh, the end of the ride experience. And you can actually see people on literally canoes like right next to the roller coaster. Like you can literally go out on a canoe at this park and that is the coolest thing ever. Row, row, row your boat gently through your Summerland. <laughs> We're on a boat. Hey look, it's a roller coaster. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, we're on a collision course. It's all just water under the bridge. Yo, I think this place has a thing with buffets because there's another buffet here. It's for pizza. Pedal bad? Uh, no, I pedal good. Who's ready for Dino Land USA? You want to go ride Primeval World? This better be better than Dino Land. It better. It's not that <laughs> it's hard. It's not hard to achieve. No. So I'm pretty sure this is the new for 2022 addition to Jersey Summerland, this whole land. It's very cool. I mean, look, this dinosaur is even moving. Yeah. And that's like theming for a roller coaster. I dig it. Yeah, yeah. So this is a uh, powered coaster themed to T-Rexes. So full on. I mean, it might be. So this looks like the dinosaur that was in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. Yeah, and look, they gave him like feathers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's hairy. This is why I'm afraid of birds. Because of this? they are basically dinosaurs. Oh. Alright, do you want to sit in the back or all the way down there in the front? I think it's 20 rows, I think. Wow. T-Rex 
family coaster was pretty tame, but cool. Like, yeah. And onboard audio, there, there was, was dinosaur spinning music, <laughs> and it went around twice, and it gave you a cool view of everything. They had like sand below, so it was like uh, you were excavating bones and stuff like that. Really cool presentation. I was saying it's an interesting choice that they went for this as their uh, new addition, but they're definitely a very family-oriented park, so they have a lot of new attractions in this area uh, with this roller coaster being kind of the, the headline. This is the cutest kids playground ever. Look, it's a little Jurassic Park. Like they have bones in the sand that you can just like brush off like you're in the movies. That's so cool. So this roller coaster is themed to a chicken coop and there are a bunch of tomatoes and corn and chickens. Just all over the place. They have chickens and their eggs on the roof. This is the best train front ever, oh my gosh. So the theme of this area is basically farming. There's a giant tractor right there. Here's some people riding a bull that's not El Toro. This is a really cute kids ride. It is perfect for little children. Like seriously, if you're like five and under, it is ideal for you. On the roof of this ride, there is a rooster up there and a cat that is trying to eat the rooster. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So that's a waffle, literally a waffle. Oh, a waffle. Yeah, with ice cream on it. Holy crap. I don't know what I thought that was going to taste like, but that was not it. The time has come for Piratin, and this is the entrance. You walk under the skull, and there's animatronic pirates over there. Like, Does that one have a face? I don't know. The hair is definitely covering them. Uh, but they have some really cool stuff in this plaza. And Yannick, you, you ran ahead. You've already ridden this three times as we're about to get our one ride on. So what do you think of it? Well, you know, if you watch the tri Japan vlogs, we were a little disappointed with uh, Kawasemi, the other Megalite in Japan. This one is definitely a lot better. It goes a lot faster. The air time is much stronger. It's, it's not miles ahead, but it's, it's noticeably better. I Good. Like to I'm excited to try it out. All the stations in this park just look amazing. This is so cool. It looks like the inside of a pirate ship. Piratin, so good. We're back in line. Yes, I actually think I like this better than uh, the Superman at Six Flags America. That's fair. You know, Honestly, it's, it's, it's smaller, like, but who cares? It's half the size, but each of the hills deliver. First turn, definitely like a little bit of a gray out there. There's a tunnel with some smoke and like fog, and it was just an overall solid ride. And Yannick is right. I, I definitely do like it more than Kawasemi. The ending I thought was punchier, um, but it, it's a good coaster. You know? Yeah, it doesn't have like a super like boring moment or anything. Like I think of like Superman where it's like a ton of straight track. I'd prefer something smaller and more compact like this for sure. Dude, this is crazy. The ride ups here have to carry around swords. They're literally carrying around swords when they check restraints and stuff. Like that's crazy. Goodbye. Lunch time. So here's what we got. We got a burger. We got fries. Another burger. And this is called Mezzo Mix. It's fine. I'm getting like McDonald's Quarter Pounder vibes. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We even ordered on a screen over there, very much in the style of McDonald's. And Mr. Vegetarian over here, you got a veggie burger? Yes, sir. This freaking park has a frog hopper on a sword, and it was just moving left to right, like it was like going like this. Like, what in the world? This pirate area is so cool. I love the skull. They have a ship right there. Like, this area is just really nice. This whole park is really nice. I did not get that wet on that one. 
Yannick rode shirtless, because I guess that's allowed. And you rode with a jacket that covered up every inch I of you. I like Kenny from South Park, basically. <laughs> that's very good, yeah. And then, as we're exiting, the ride up has a bucket of water and like a, a big, a, yeah, like a scrub brush, and is flicking water onto people right as one face. as one last like, ha, gotcha. Hey, hey, what's in here? <laughs> what the? Oh, shit. What? Oh, I moved child. Oh, oh shit. I threw my skin. <laughs> there was a kid just crawling up the other way, and I'm like, Mom! <laughs> I love a good log flume. This one, one, this one has three drops, uh, but actually the part that got me the most wet was some elephant statues, and one of them just like spritz me right in the face. This is literally in the queue for a freaking frisbee. What the heck? This is crazy. We just got off their tiger-themed frisbee. It's an Intamin like, gyro swing, and it was so good. It's probably the best frisbee I've ever done. Agreed. Because the restraints are very open feeling. If you've done like drop line at uh, Dollywood, how it has those uh, very open style shoulder restraints. It almost feels kind of like a lap bar. But it's nice and tight. Like you're, you feel very like secure. Yeah, but it's much more open than those big bulky over the shoulder restraints, you know? But it didn't quite go like fully upside down, but like it, like you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't like make a full right. uh, rotation. It went around. up to like 110 degrees. Yeah, it and it was just enough. Yeah, and the view is crazy. It pulls good forces. Uh, very scenic. The theming is awesome. Speedy Gonzalez Hot Rod Racers? No, it's this like water slide, but it's actually like in the dry park. What? There better not be anyone in line for this thing because we just climbed up the freaking mountain to get here. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Turns out this is one of those do it yourself kind of rides. Ready? Yep. What? what? Oh my god. Look. What the heck? There's literally mini golf in this park. This place has everything, I swear. We should have more time. Let's I know, back. stupid 6 p.m. close. So we just got off Piraten, and uh, what did you do? I got to dispatch your train. And how did that happen? I just asked nicely. I was like, can I dispatch the train? And he's like, yeah, just push the green button now. And I was like, all right, I like leaned over and... Dude, yeah. that is so crazy. What is this place? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, maybe. All right, exiting out of just Summerland. Well, I don't want to leave. I know. This place was great. Definitely recommend a visit. I don't think I knew what to expect, but if this is the going trend at all these other European parks, like the, the cool theming, all the stuff we don't usually get to do in America, um, I think it's gonna be an awesome trip, seriously. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. Th this park was really fantastic. I, it's an operator ride. I know. Take two different occasions. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, this place exceeded my expectations. A uh, uh, ton of fun, Yannick. Yeah, this was like an upscale Tovar land. It was really beautiful. Um, had a lot of really good rides. Piraten was very nice. It was like the redemption of Kawasemi. Yeah, it was. How many did you end up riding it? Like eight or nine, I think. Eight, okay, I think we did like four, four or five, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, really good theming, good food. Yeah, great experience, honestly. Hi guys, welcome to today's episode of Carpool Karaoke. I am your host, James Corden, and we've got Ariana Grande in the back seat and she's going to be performing uh, Dangerous Woman. 
in the car. <laughs> Don't need permission in my decision to test my limits. Oh my god, don't you stop? Yes, Ari! Makes me feel like a dangerous woman. Alright, we stopped in a Danish supermarket and we found Taylor's Heaven. Gummy bears, all kinds of gummy bears. I love this, but here's the problem. Most of them have black licorice as one of the flavors. Just eat around them. It's so bad. We literally got gummies on Sweden and they had black licorice flavor. It's so disgusting. We bought some chocolate to try. This is white bourbon vanilla and then chocolate cocoa mousse. We also bought towels because uh, if you ever travel to Denmark, pretty much every Airbnb does like not have towels. So you should. Yeah, we found that out yeah. last night when we're like, can we take a shower? And they're like, no, I'm no also, towels. Uh, Look at this random thing in the middle of the street. We're in uh, the town called Hobro. Hobro. And there's this cool church on top of this little hill here. There's like two things that you would call somebody. You'd call someone your ho or your bro. So they bros. made a town out of it. In this town, it's hoes before bros. <laughs> this restaurant has a picture of a Big Mac that's literally... on their burger menu. And they're like, yeah, that's ours. Oh that's my god. actually a Big Mac. Don't you help me sober up, growing up and make me down. My favorite color is you. <laughs> it is literally 10 of 10 p.m. and there's still so much daylight left. We've been driving into the sun this entire drive and it is <laughs> horrible. We literally cannot find our Airbnb. We're just pulling into people's driveways at this point. That was number two and that wasn't. So let's We're try looking for a three. yellow, it's described as an abandoned yellow farmhouse. Well, that's just great. I hope we're not <laughs> sleeping in that. <laughs> we totally are. Oh. Would you say Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibes? Oh, yeah. It, it really there does. is not a theme park out here. There's no way. That, <laughs> I don't believe it at all. Third time's a charm. I it. We found our little farmhouse. Oh, what? This is actually super fun. All right, gang, I think that's gonna do it for this video. As you can see, Yannick is already passed out. He has no <laughs> idea I'm filming this right now. He's completely asleep. He's oblivious to everything happening. <laughs> and then Sarah is helping me right now. Uh, we are putting together a video <laughs> about the California's Great America announcement. Um, so We're gonna try. <laughs> yeah, by now you've you've seen the video that's out there, but um, that's how how you do it when you're on a trip and something happens. I didn't have my studio mic with me to record, so I actually used a lavalier mic that I carried around for like on the go interviews. Fine. And yeah, it sounds pretty good, but. Um, so we're pulling the old California's Great America footage to put something together and we're gonna upload it from Northern Denmark, so. Apparently the Wi-Fi is really good, so. Yeah, we, which, advantage. you know, uh, is kind of rare. Sometimes we stay at places like this, it's, is, it's hit or miss. But um, overall, it was a good day. A lot of fun. Great park. You had fun? No. All right. <laughs> hey, Yannick, did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. All right, at least someone had fun. I was joking. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow at Fire Up Summerland. Good night.